we are joyful and we are happy to the presence of the Lord. Should we shout another hallelujah? Amen. May our Lord be praised forevermore in the name of Jesus. I believe you are enjoying yourself in the presence of the Lord today. And we're about to take that our level of worship to another level. And now we are going into the, the place of into, into the session of prayers. And that prayer session this morning is titled Father, light in my path. Father, light in my path. You know, there's what we call light and there's darkness. And the Bible says in Psalm 18, verse 28 to 29, the Lord, the Lord of heaven said, For you will light my lamp. The Lord, my God, will enlighten my darkness. For by you, I can run against the troop. By my God, I can leap over a wall. In the same book of Psalm, chapter 32, verse 8, the Bible says, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way to go which thou shalt go. And I will guide thee with my eyes. The Lord will guide us in the name of Jesus. We know that anywhere where there is light, there is guidance, there is direction. No, there is purposeful no, movement, Lord, towards a particular destination. So when God lightens our paths, he is talking about divine guidance. He's talking about walking in righteousness. He's talking about walking successfully, not no stumble and fumble. He's talking about fulfilling God's purpose in spite of challenges, which means you're able to identify obstacles and be able to avoid them. He's also talking about avoiding darkness in the life of a Christian. This morning, we are going to be asking God to, en to enlighten our path that will be able to fulfill God's purpose in the name of Jesus. So our first prayer point this morning, we're going to thank you for Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your promise in your word, Lord, for to enlighten my path. Lord, I thank you, Lord, because you are the light, and in you there's no darkness. Father, we worship you, we give all the praises, Lord, because you are the light of my life. You are the light that has come into, into my life since the day of my salvation. Father, we thank you, we bless your name, because anywhere you go to, anywhere you appear, darkness disappears. Father, we worship you, Lord. Lord, I thank you for the promise, Lord, of the light into my life that I'll be able to fulfill purpose and find direction in life. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. That scripture that which we read earlier, verse 28 and 29 of chapter 18, the Bible says it will go to enlighten our darkness. And because of that, we are able to run against a troop, which means no matter the opposition against you, you will prevail. You shall prevail today in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray that, Lord, oh Lord, guide me in the right path and keep me from stumbling in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, you said by your light, I'll be able to run against the troop. I'll be able to leap over walls. No matter what the devil, no matter what the enemy puts along my way, I will excel above them in the name of Jesus. Father, by your light, guide me, Lord, onto the right path to take in life in the name of Jesus. Help me, Lord, to avoid stumbling in life. Lord, in the name of Jesus, my life cannot afford to fumble. In the name of Jesus, I cannot afford to fail in life. Father, guide me by your light. In the name of Jesus, illuminate my path in life. In the mighty name of Jesus, are you praying? Are you seeking God for guidance in this life? Anyone that wants to do it on his own is going to fumble. But because of God, with the presence of God in your life, is going to enlighten your way and you will get to that destination he has for you. In the name of Jesus, enlighten my path, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And the scriptures that we heard earlier said in Psalm 32, verse 8, said, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will cancel you with my own eye, no upon you. I'm going to pray that, Lord, oh Lord, open my ears to hear your still small voice in the name of Jesus. Cause my heart to receive your instruction. In the name of Jesus, are you asking God to speak to you that you want to hear his voice that will teach you in the way to go in the name of Jesus? Let my heart be able to receive instruction in the name of Jesus. Ask God for a teachable spirit and a heart that is receptive, Lord, to his teachings. In the name of Jesus, Lord, cause my ears to open to hear your instructions. In the name of Jesus, give me an heart that is teachable, a heart that is ready to learn and follow your counsel. In in the name of Jesus, that I may follow the right path for my life in the mighty name of Jesus, that I may reach
reach that expected end, which you as Lord, which you said you had in plan for me. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, cause my ears to be open, cause my heart to be receptive, cause my heart to be teachable. Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I hope you are praying. Psalm 119 verse 105. The Bible says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I'm going to say that, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, may your word be a lamp to my feet indeed, and a light my path in the name of Jesus. Father, illuminate my path with your truth and righteousness in the name of Jesus. Father, let me find illumination through your word in the name of Jesus. For whatever wins that they will come to me, Lord, through in the name of Jesus, let them illuminate my path in the name of Jesus. Let them, Lord, indicate to me the way to go in the mighty name of Jesus. Make your word, Lord, the lamp and the light to my path indeed in the name of Jesus. Lord, teach me lord to be able to lord to follow your path lord and your way for truth and righteousness in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name we have prayed god sent his word to us in different ways i'm going to pray that god the word is what will not be scarce in our life you know some people when they go to another place some locations it seems as if they've never been christians before because the work comes in a way that they are at god's get limited and just not find direction in life but i'm going to pray that oh lord Oh Lord, I will not experience scarcity of your word in my life. I will not experience scarcity of your true word in my life. In the name of Jesus, Father, darkness dispelling word will not be scarce on this altar as it comes to me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus Center Church, in the name of Jesus, let the word of life, let them, Lord, not be scarce in the name of Jesus. As I'm seated in the congregation today, Father, the word of life, the light of the word, Lord, let it come unto me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, I will not experience scarcity. The word will be abundant coming unto me in the name of Jesus. In different dimensions, in the name of Jesus, even today, Father, Lord, there will be abundance of illumination unto my heart, Lord, in the name of Jesus, as your word come. The Bible says, your word is the lamp unto my feet and the light to my path. Father, I want abundance of that light in the name of Jesus. Let my light, Lord, in that the light shine so much to overcome the darkness, Lord, that may be, Lord, that may be hiding in my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. John chapter 1 verse 5. The Bible says, And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. When there's enough light, there's no way darkness can hide. But we pray that, Father, oh Father, I decree that the voice and manifestations of darkness in my life be completely drowned in the light of your word. Today and forevermore in the name of Jesus. Are you crying to God? The Lord, every darkness in my life, let them be drowned by the light of your word. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every voice speaking darkness. Every manifestation of darkness in my life. Let your world drown them in the name of Jesus. Let the light shine so that darkness not be comprehended in the name of Jesus. Is there any Lord darkness in my life? The world shall drown them off in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive the entrance of your word because the entrance of your word is the entrance of light in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. No, when light comes, no, you are able to see obstacles and find direction. Psalm 37, verse 23, the Bible says, The Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their life, which is every detail of your life. Talk of any aspect of your life that you are confused about. God says, going to direct you your steps. If you remain in the strength, you remain godly. Go to pray that, Lord, oh Lord, help me to avoid the path that leads to destruction and choose life-giving path in the name of Jesus. Has God for direction, Lord, that we direct your steps in the name of Jesus. He said it will delight, it delight in every detail of our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, every detail of my life in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, help me find direction in the name of Jesus. Ask God, Lord, are those areas of your life that you are thinking, Lord, it's a bit, no, confusing to you. The Lord, in the name of Jesus, step into this moment in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, step me, step in 
thing. Lord, to give me direction in the name of Jesus. Help me, Lord, to be able to choose the life-giving path in the name of Jesus. Help me that I will not lean on my own understanding, but I will follow your instructions in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Send your word, Lord, to illuminate me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Sometimes, no, someone may be in the midst of a lot of confusion. That's why the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19, Isaiah 43, verse 19, the Bible says, God said, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? Now it said, I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Are you going to any wilderness? Are you in any desert? God said, it will make a way for you. And this morning, a way shall appear for you in Jesus' name. Lord, pray that, Father, make a way for me in the wilderness and rivers in the desert of my life in the name of Jesus in my family, in my business in my career, in my academics Lord make a way in the name of Jesus for everyone in this congregation in Jesus and that church in the name of Jesus Father make a way for us in the wilderness and rivers in the desert anybody Lord that is depressed that is dejected, that is in the wilderness of life. Father, in the name of Jesus, cause a way to appear for us in the name of Jesus. Make a way for us in the name of Jesus. Illuminate, Lord, the path to take in life in the name of Jesus. Father, help us in the name of Jesus and take us out of the wilderness in the name of Jesus unto that destination we have for us in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. One of the instruments that God uses is that is that the Holy Spirit. That's why John 16, verse 13, the Bible says, When the Spirit of truth comes, it will guide you into all the truth. I'm going to pray that my Father, my Father in heaven, make me sensitive to the promptings of your Holy Spirit as I navigate my path in the name of Jesus. Baptize me with the Holy Spirit and help me to be sensitive to his promptings in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of truth that will guide me in the way to go. In the mighty name of Jesus, I receive the grace to be sensitive in the name of Jesus. I receive the help, Lord, to seek his counsel in all concerning all things. In the name of Jesus, that I may navigate my path in life successfully. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I receive baptism afresh of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, if you know you don't have the Holy Spirit in you, ask God to baptize you. And he can do that for you now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, baptize the Holy Spirit. The spirit of truth that will guide me. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, Matthew 5, 16 says, Let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works, and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. When God illuminates the life of a person, no, he himself becomes light. That's why the Bible says we are like a city set on a hill, you know, that cannot be hidden. No, you know, the Bible says like us to a lamp. We're going to pray that Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, make my path to be a testimony of your grace and love to others in the name of jesus pray that god will make you love part a testimony of his grace and love to others in the name of jesus we will pray that make me a light in the darkness pointing others to the path of righteousness in the name of jesus the lord the, the prayer point is up there let's pray that has god in the name of jesus i want my life lord to end my lord to reflect your light I want my life in the name of Jesus to be the light that others will see in the name of Jesus. Cause my life to be the light that will dispel the darkness in the life of those around me in the name of Jesus. Let me be, Lord, those who will point people to the right direction, to the path of righteousness in the name of Jesus. Make my light so shine that darkness around me, Lord, even in people around me, will flee in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. We are still praying that for God to enlighten our power. We pray that Father, Father God, this very day, shine light into the darkness in my life. In the name of Jesus, seek out all the dark places, even the ones I don't know, Lord, and shine your light into them. It's every very hour in the name of Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, let shine your light into the darkness of my life, oh Lord. Even the ones that are not known to me, Lord, help me, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Help me, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, shine your light in my life. This day, this hour, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Help me, Lord, to stay in the line of the freedom purpose for my life. In the name of Jesus. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Numbers 14, 28. Numbers 14, verse 28. The Bible says, say to them as I live. God is saying to you today. No, as I live, says the Lord. Just as you have spoken in my hearing, so I will do to you. I'm going to pray that, Lord, I decree every word that I have spoken this morning, every declaration in prayers today, Father, cause them to be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. I ask for the establishment of your word in the, my life in the name of Jesus. The word of prayer, the declaration you made this morning, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I have spoken them into your hearing. Lord, it's up to you, Lord, to establish them in the name of Jesus. Cause them to be established in heaven and on earth in the mighty name of Jesus. Establish your word. Lord, we've cried unto you this morning into your hearing, Lord. Lord, establish your word in our life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, we thank you this morning. We worship you, Lord. We've cried unto you, Lord. We sought your face, Lord. That our path to be enlightened. Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you will eat to fulfill your word in life in the name of Jesus. Father, the darkness that may be hiding in our life, Father, at the appearance of your light, Lord, let them be dispelled in Jesus' name. Lord, let our life be transformed and we shall continue to give glory unto your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed.